Welcome back. Well, with the Emoji Movie flopping so terribly last week, I can see how you'd start to lose faith in Hollywood, but a movie being released today should change your mind. Good morning, Jim. Good morning. Our Hollywood happening today takes us back to 1967, Detroit, Michigan, where the film Detroit begins amidst the chaos of the Detroit Rebellion. With the city under curfew as the Michigan National Guard patrolled the streets, three young African-American men were murdered at the Algiers Motel. Caught in the middle of the raid was Green, an Air Force veteran who served with honors, played by Anthony Mackie. Uh, congratulations on your performance in this movie, as a movie that needs to be seen and a story that needs to be told again. Thank you. Uh, I comment on what I enjoyed, the animation open, hmm. and then you go into the riot scenes in Detroit in 1967, and it looks something like out of Beirut, right. the Middle East. Right. The, uh, what Catherine was able to do and what I love so much, um, she was able to capture the reality of the darkest sit yeah. time of America. You know, the 1960s were just a country in peril and nobody knew which, how we were going to come out of that tailspin. And the beginning of this movie really captures, you know, the beauty uh, of rioting. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think there's something, uh, how one little moment, literally storming a bar looking for one man, can destroy an entire city. And that's what happened in Detroit. Mm -hmm, exactly. And it's just coming back now. Yeah. It's taken all the 50 years, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, and you mentioned Catherine, what a great job uh, she did. You re you re reunited with her yeah. in this movie. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Love, I love the fact that Catherine, you know, as a beautiful young white female director you don't expect her no, to be able to right, do this right. people wouldn't allow her to do this mm -hmm. but i love the fact that she has so much power and dignity in her work that she chose something that people wouldn't actually see her doing uh, it's easy to, for me and growing up in chicago at that time in the 60s going to college uh, to understand why it's easy to understand when you look at the prejudice yeah. and the suppression mm -hmm. uh, in the 1960s. I right. wasn't surprised. Well, the 1960s, I describe them as the time where America was going from being a teenager to a young adult. Oh, yeah. So it was a lot of confusion and turmoil. And, you know, white people weren't willing to share power and black people were desperately trying to gain power. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. because of that, there were explosions all over the country. And black people that did have power, the black police officers, and, uh, and uh, politicians, they mm. were in the middle. Yeah, they and they were, the middle. they were desperately trying to hold yeah. on to their power. Your character, Green, mm. uh, Air, Air Force veteran, mm. was he a composite, Anthony, of many veterans that did get caught in that situation and didn't get the respect? And No, he was a real guy. He was uh, a real he, guy. He was an actual person staying at the hotel. And um, Green actually was the first one to come out and speak about what happened. He did a, uh, in a news interview, a news article in the Detroit Free Press um, that uh, kind of spawned this whole investigation of what happened at the hotel. I, I was wondering about that, yeah. you know, if, if he came forward and... and yeah, uh, he was the first one to yeah. come forward. Did you meet him? No, 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 he had long passed away. Oh, he had, <clears throat> yeah. okay, yeah. Uh, this young cast, you can't say enough about them. Yeah. What a great job they did. Well, yeah. it's funny, I mean, you know, my first movie was Eight Mile in Detroit. And it was a bunch of young knuckleheads at the beginning of our careers. And being with this cast on the other side of it now, being a veteran, looking at a bunch of young knuckleheads at the beginning of their career, it's really, it's, it's really uh, exciting to see mm -hmm. where these uh, young actors, male and female, are going. Turn that radio up. What you gonna do? Nice does, man. Thanks. We were performing earlier. <laughs> I'm performing. He has lost control. Take a look at him now. Police was there. There was a lot of shooting. Talk about
about this to anyone ever. You understand? Detroit was directed by Oscar winner Catherine Bigelow. Her Hurt Locker and Zero Dark Thirty are excellent films, but in my opinion, Detroit is much more heartwarming. It's a disturbing look at a true story. A lot of the actual brutality is not seen, however, enough to understand what took place. The use of the handheld cameras is really effective, as is the performances of the corrupt white cops. Detroit is rated R, my grade a B plus. Well, also opening today, the action adventure Dark Tower, starring Matthew McConaughey, a crime mystery Wind River, starring Jeremy Renner, Halle Berry's thriller Kidnap, plus a couple of interesting dramas, Lady Macbeth and 13 Minutes. I'm going to see you right here next Tuesday on The Morning Blend with some of the stars of the horror thriller Annabelle Creation.